In case, you can export your test cases from the repository. When viewing your project repository, navigate to your upper right corner and click the three-dot menu button to find the Export Data option. From the pop-up, you can choose the file format of your export, which can be JSON, XML, CSV, with current and legacy or deprecated formats available, XLSX, PDF, and HTML. Additionally, you can export a specific suite from the second dropdown or tick the checkbox to export a filtered section if you had filters applied in the repository. The CSV, deprecated CSV, HTML, and PDF formats will show the option to specify the order in which the test cases are exported, either by their test case ID or by their position in the suite. Going into the different formats, these are what your exports would look like. This is for JSON. Next is for XML. Between the current CSV and legacy CSV format, there are slight differences in the first column name and the formatting of the steps columns. The deprecated CSV option will export a CSV file formatted according to an earlier specification that was used previously. This deprecated format does not reflect the nesting of the test case steps. Take note that your custom fields will be included in your export and will be found on the far right with a column title named CF underscore and the number assigned to the custom field according to the order in which it is being added to the workspace. For XLSX, the steps would be separated into different sheets between Classic and Gherkin steps. This is for PDF. And here it is for HTML. If you have more questions on this or any other feature, you can check out our help articles in our FAQ section. If you do not find an answer to your question, or if you have any feedback that you'd like to share with us, just drop us a message. And happy testing!